what's going on? It's your best friend in the whole wide world. I'm Andrew Caravella, the host of Desert Empire Vibe, aka The Vibe, right here coming to you from the heart of the high desert. Tonight, we got some high desert residents who are also fellow musicians Ooh. who are running a completely brand new music venue called The In Room. And that's going down in Apple Valley, right? Yeah, the historic yes. Apple Valley yes. Inn. The historic Apple mm -hmm. Valley Inn. So you guys, like I said, are fellow musicians mm -hmm. and you guys created this music venue. Why don't we explain to our viewers exactly what the Inn Room is so we can start getting the rest of the desert to AV over there. So okay, tell so us you, a little bit about it. And you want the real story. You want well, the real background. Well, if the real story is better for television, I'll totally take it. Okay, right? Yes. Right? <laughs> No, you go ahead and tell them about it, Maggie. Okay, well, yes. okay, like all good parties, well, we were at a holiday party okay. this past December. Okay. And we were a bunch of musicians ended up in the kitchen. Surprise, surprise. And um, we were talking about the type of room we'd like to play. What would it, what would it be? What would it look like? What, we'd get paid. Right. First right? off, we'd, we'd get paid, <laughs> right? We'd probably pay ourselves first. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it, uh, we'd, it would be packed. Yes. Right, because we'd be responsible for, you know, filling the joint. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As opposed to n nobody doing promotion. Work. Right. Um, what else? What were some of the other things that we, th that we thought we would play? The perfect room. W we'd have a bar. Definitely a bar. <laughs> Very important. Very important. <laughs> um, it would be comfortable, and people could dress up and feel good. You know what I mean. And that right. was really one, one of the main things mm. here. In the hot desert, the ladies love to dress up. Yeah. And yes. go out, you know. So, by the way, I don't think I, I opened with this, but we have Maggie V with us. Yes. Hello. And Ray Brooks. Yes. So, also, again, fellow musicians. Right. Do, are you a singer? Do you, do you play something? I play anything that makes a noise. Okay. Okay. So, different, different projects, you know, different things. Guitar, okay. piano, saxophone. But I am a vocalist. Very good. Okay. Very so, good. and... Um, Soul Pattern Project, who was coming up at the end room, is, is my project. Okay. A group of four. We're very loud. Love it. But very cerebral. <laughs> so, wait, so wait, let's go back to the story. Okay. Let's go, okay. Okay. okay so, so we said, yeah, well, that, would be, that, that would be our type of room. And Ray said, well, we should do it. <laughs> I said, well, yeah. All right. How, how, do you, how do you do that? So it's like a pop-up. It's like a pop-up entertainment venue. Yeah, it's like you pop up and go, and then when it's done, you fold it back down, put it in your pocket, and wait till next week, right? Next month. Next month. Oh, so it's a once a month thing. It's a once a month thing, and every every show is a different experience. So tell us about the April twenty third. We launched. Okay, and how did that go? It was insane. Fantastic night. Standing room only. Hopefully. Yeah. Yes, yeah. it was. Mm -hmm. Very good. And, and we'd like to thank uh, all of the people who came out, especially from Apple Valley. His fans are incredible. They they never sit down. They dance they dance the whole night. Nice. And it was insane. It, we Great. could do things better. Yes, we could. And we will. Well, we were shocked. <laughs> yes. We were, it was insane and we were shocked. And I'm going to tell you what it was like. Okay. You know, like when at IHOP, when they have those days where people, like the fire chief serves you or your you teacher like serves you? last Sunday when I was there? Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, that was like us. <laughs> we were trying to run a bar and you know what I mean? And it, it was crazy. People waited a long time, but it was happening and they had fun. That's good. That's the most important thing about doing a music venue mm -hmm. or, or putting on a music production is as long as your audience is having fun, all bets are off. And, and the thing, oh, I know what the other thing was. When we played somewhere, we'd want the sound to be absolutely magnificent. Of yes. course. And so we, our team is, you know, besides us, we have a production team, a sound crew that just makes us sound oh, fabulous. Oh, you guys don't play. You come no. packing. Yeah, exactly. And that's Love the it. point. That's you know? cool. That's yes. what the in-room is. So. All right. Yeah, every every month different. Okay, so all right, so every month it's different. So the next one's coming up soon. We we create. I'm sorry. We created. Okay. I'll inter uh, interrupt you a lot. Andrew. Please do. It, I talk created, way too much for the show. We created the blues joint for <laughs> Ray Brooks and the Blues Masters. That's his okay. group. Okay, coming up, it's a whole different deal. Soul Pattern Project, my group. Uh, adult, or alternative fusion, little cerebral, and when we started uh, putting our vibes out there, we attracted um, something amazing, which was um, somebody called a known intuitive spiritual healer okay. and said, "Hey, we like you. We, I like your vibe. I think I want to be there." 
and where I go, because I don't go that often, um, uh, people will follow. And when I get there... If you build it, they will come. When right? I get there, I'm going to do spirit photography and filming. And That's the so Apple neat. Valley, the historic Apple Valley Inn, has a lot to see. And so I was like, okay, well, that sounds pretty interesting. Let's do it. Well, the minute... Anytime you say yes, yes. So the minute you we <laughs> said yes, uh, wellness uh, people healers are filling up. We have a vendor hall. See, it's a total event. When you walk in, you're in a vendor yeah. hall, and then you you get in line to go to go get your seat, and then the doors open and people go in and they get their seat. That's pretty neat. Mm -hmm. We're gonna take a quick commercial break, but when we come back, we're gonna get in a little more here with Maggie V and Ray Brooks. Yes. Stick around. We'll be right back on the vibe. Don't go away. Welcome back right here on Desert Empire Vibe, AKA The Vibe. I'm your host, Andrew Caravella. We are now streaming kvvb.tv on the live stream app via the Roku. So if you guys are watching online, you guys could just kind of click on over to your Roku, go to live stream, type in kvvb, and boom, the vibe is there, live streaming. We're back. Isn't that cool? We're doing like social media. KVVB so TV. KVVB TV, TV, right? That's hard to say, and you do it well. Well, they're just letters, but yes. <laughs> KVVB <laughs> TV. So we try to be all, you know, new, new age here, 21st yeah. century. So, yeah. I mean, you know, internet television, so it works. Yeah. So, or, you know, if you have an antenna and you're local, it's, that's another way to find us. I see. So. Okay. All right, so let's talk nice. Ray Brooks. Yes. Oh, I love this hat, man. This says a lot. You were classy. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. Yes, yes. So you're a musician. I'm sure you've been one for a hot minute, right? I've been one for a little while, For yes. a little while. Yes. Tell us about your upbringing with music, where you're from, how you came to come to, to be here in the high desert. Tell us that story. Let, let's hear that. Yes. Uh, I grew up in a little historical town in Texas called Gonzales. Gonzales. It sounds, yes. it sounds Spanish. It, yes, it is. Yes, uh, and so I started out singing in the choral club in high school. Oh, okay. And uh, my senior year, uh, we started just goofing around trying to learn how to play and things, and I moved to Corpus Christi, and so one day I was sitting on the bus stop there, and I went window shopping in the pawn shop, and I saw this Stella guitar. Ten dollars, and I says, "Hmm." Ten dollars. When I what? get when I get the ten dollars, I'm gonna come back and get this guitar, and I did, and uh, started to practice 24/7, and the next year I started playing professionally. What? How old were? I'm sorry. How old were you? Nine, you're 19, like 19 by this point. 19. How does how yes. does that happen? What what is considered professionally by that point for you? Oh, I I would say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it it was about this making. Is, this is the new me. one. You just <laughs> thumbing oh, it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I see that. It, it, it was about making money. Okay. Uh, you know, uh, stepping up. You do you know. remember your first venue that you played at nineteen? Uh, yes, I do. Uh, it was a place called the Savoir Playroom. Uh, was on the west side of Corpus Christi. Is that like the fancy and, ritzy and, side? Uh, well, you could say, yeah, it was oh, you uh, were big time, middle, man. Middle, middle class people. <laughs> Very you cool. You know, uh, they were working uh, uh, at the, I don't remember the name of the factory, but it was a big factory down there. You okay. know, where employed a lot of people, so people were doing good, you know. And so we used to play there, and the owner of the place became our manager for a brief time. We were called the Savoy Playboys. <laughs> <laughs> High rollers. Uh, so uh, that that started it, and uh, after a couple of years, I moved to Dallas, and uh, started stepping up in class and meeting other people in the business. So is your genre more on the jazz influence side? You would say? No, I'm uh, blues. Oh, bluesy. I'm sorry. I, That's I, what I meant. I, I I am classified as West Coast blues. West Coast. Oh, so it, there's a difference. It's, it's like a mixture of Texas blues and. L.A. blues. Okay, mm -hmm. very cool. Because uh, people like T-Bone Walker, they all migrated to L.A. Mm -hmm. back in the 40s, mm -hmm. uh, 30s, and the Central Avenue thing became, you know, the hot spot at the time. 
And so, yeah, you have that fusion of the music. And, and, and it has jazz involved in it also. So when you made it here to, to California, I think, I think you told me off camera, like you were in LA, but then you eventually came to be here in the high desert. How, yes, how did that I, I, uh, I had a, a friend, uh, Moses Armstrong. I came up here in year 2000, played at the Green Tree. The Green Tree? Yes. I know that place. Yes, <laughs> uh, six nights a week. And uh, that brought me up here, and uh, I uh, met my wife here. Oh, and so what's your that, wife's name? That uh, Joyce. Hi, Joyce. And uh, so uh, that, uh, you know, caused me to move up here. Okay. You know, well, of so course, because you're married, you know. So I, I moved <laughs> up here and been here ever since. Very cool. Yes. So do you do you like the music scene for the most part? What 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 is has to I offer here? I love the music scene. Um, I think like what we're doing here, uh, it, we should have more of. Right. Uh, Hence the in room, right? Yes. Uh, you know, places where ladies can dress up because. Like we said uh, earlier, you know, the little pubs and things, you know, they don't feel like that's the place where they can right, they really want to get do all... it like they did it back in the right. in room. It's a throwback. Uh, it, right. it is what it is. Because, I know. mean, you don't want to get all dolled up and then kind right. of go to the dive bar, right, mm -hmm. where yes. everyone's playing pool, yes. eating free popcorn. Which is nothing wrong with that. I love free popcorn. Absolutely. <laughs> I love free popcorn too, <laughs> and I love pool. But there, but there is. This is this was a little a vintage throwback to clubs of old, where you could go and you asked about food. I mean, we have snacks. Love that was snacks. Our, the, yeah. <laughs> so we're gonna take another quick commercial break, but then we're gonna get back to the in room here with Maggie V and Ray Brooks right here exclusively on Desert Empire Vibe. Love this show. It's completely brand new. Still trying to figure out. But guess what? We're going to be back in a hot minute. So don't go away. We're back here on Desert Empire Vibe, aka The Vibe. I'm your host, Andrew Caravella, now streaming on the live stream app via Roku. Make sure you check us out, kvvb.tv. All right. Oh, wow. Look that at that. KVVB. You got the no, lip thing. I love it. Look at that. She's either mocking me or totally with me. I was with you. I'm like, KVVB I'll figure TV. It out later. I'm like, yes. Okay. So we kind of saved this for like the middle of the show, but Ray Brooks, you're very, what's the word, humble. You, you have a resume like this with just names on it. So why don't we talk a little bit about that? Who have you had the honor and privilege of working with in your music career over the years? Oh, well, a uh, uh, few people, and I'm really thankful for that, you know. And I'll just go back and start from the beginning. Let's do uh, it. Early, we got six minutes. Early on, uh, <laughs> uh, the great blues pianist, uh, Floyd Dixon, uh, Gate Mouth Brown. He was like the second gig I did. At 19 years old. Do do you get? I guess I guess to translate this over the generations. Um, nowadays, it's like One Direction, uh, Demi Lovato, the, the teeny bopper thing, where these kids get all giddy for that kind of stuff. Did you have like your your teeny bopper moments when you were that young, working with legends like that? Like yes. when you're super excited, yes. trying we, not to freak out and ruin it. We 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 were <laughs> at his feet, you know. <laughs> Uh, it, it's just, uh, I can't explain the feeling that you get from that, you know. Uh, so, yeah, it's the same thing. What else? Who, who else have you, um, have you had the opportunity with? Uh, Joe Turner, Percy Mayfield, Big Mama Thornton. Oh, my gosh. Uh, Billy Preston. Look at you. We played the Harris uh, Clubs, uh, Lake Tahoe, Vegas and stuff. Proud of him going to England with the Beatles. Um, I was the music you director the for... What are the Beatles? <laughs> Kidding? Don't change the channel, please. Don't change the channel. <laughs> right, that's with the Mick Jagger guy. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. It was uh, the McCartney Preston. guy. Yeah. Yes. yeah, I love the Beatles. Huge Regal Star fan. Kidding. Still kidding. We've lost half our viewers. Anyway, yes. continue. Yes. So where was I? Oh, uh, yeah. Billy went to England. Uh, yeah, England. so we... we uh, were the opening act for Tina Turner in South Africa back in the 80s. I, you did, you did South Africa? Oh, Tina yeah. Turner. I'm sorry. I'm thinking Whitney Houston. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tina Turner. Yeah. I mean, 
Mm. Uh, I called him the female James Brown. Did you have a, uh, right? Right? Did you have a crush on Tina? No, I didn't have a crush, but uh, she you, have a crush on you. But you, but you gotta love her, though, man. She's pretty amazing, right? Yes, fantastic. That is that is incredible. So you got to actually travel to Africa, and and do all of that. Yes. Do yes. you feel like? Do you feel like when when you go to different countries to play music? the love for what you do is widely received more so than here in the States. Like they don't take it for granted as much as we do here in the States. You are so right about that. Uh, they, they just really love American music and they show it with their appreciation. You know, it's the greatest feeling in the world. So with all these venues average, what would you say the biggest like live audience you've performed in front of would be? Oh, probably twenty thousand. Twenty thousand? That's People. like that's like yeah. arena style right there. Yeah. That's huge. That's yeah. awesome. What is that like when you're in front of twenty thousand people? Like what what's that feeling like? Can you even breathe? Oh man, uh the first time that happened to me it was frightening, you know, because I could feel the crowd breathing and it felt like they were just right there at these lights. Right? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. That's pretty cool. Yeah. Pretty neat. Okay, so we've talked also, you're a vocalist. Yes, 20 people in a small room. That's my biggest crowd. No, oh, kidding. okay. Wow. Don't let her tell you this. You got to see her. You got to see her. She's dynamite. Well, thank you. No, what are, what really? are, so Do you do originals or do you do more covers? Originals. Originals? Yeah, okay. So. If you had to com compare your, your voice stylizing to somebody else that's out there, what are we looking at? Or listening to rather, um, you know, I, I don't. It depends on the style style of music. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it was if it's blues, I would. A lot of people say Janis Joplin. Oh my right? gosh, we totally have to go to the bar one night. If it, I if love this. I don't do karaoke though. Oh, um, that's not what I meant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, that's horrible for me to say. I think. Sorry about that. I hit the mic. Um, but. Let's say with my group, Soul Pattern Project. Okay. Um, nobody. <laughs> it's just it's You're just unique. me. Yeah. Right. Like right now, my voice is all raspy because of allergies. Right. That's but okay. hey, it might be like that Saturday night. It right. Be Bonnie Raitt or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> well, when we come back, uh, we're going to take a quick commercial break here in a hot minute. But when we come back, I think we're going to be talking a little bit about songwriting because you guys do original music. Mm -hmm. um, it's one of the cool things about the musicians that actually tune into the show here. They really like to kind of hear the different ways. Because mm. me also as a fellow songwriter, mm -hmm. we all have our own methods on what works for us in the studio or in a writing mm -hmm. session. Yes. Or, or the teams that we work with to collab with, you know, mm -hmm. when we want to put tracks together and then actually make art. So that's something that we're going to get into a little more in depth on mm. the technical side here in a hot minute. Uh, but before we do... Uh, I think we have to take a commercial break. So stick around. We are here with Ray Brooks and Maggie V in the studio for Desert Empire Vibe. We'll be right back. Welcome back once again here to Desert Empire Vibe, AKA The Vibe. I'm your host, Andrew Caravella, here on KVVB.TV, now streaming on the live stream app via Roku. Make sure you check us out online and also at kvvb.tv. All right. Yes. yes. <laughs> Nailed it. Yes. Nailed it. Yes. So, so okay, songwriters yeah. with original music, what is your guys' processes for when you write? For myself, I like to listen to tracks, loop certain sections, and then write from there. So how do you, how do, you do your music when you write? Okay, very interesting that okay. you asked this. Okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a little bit of a... Uh, uh, of a forward plug here for the in room this Saturday night. Nice. Because this is a, this is going to play right into that. Okay. So Soul Pattern Project that's playing at the in room this Saturday night, May fourteenth. Okay. Yeah, Apple Valley Inn. Mm -hmm. We are all original music, but the music that I uh, somebody once told me you write good songs, and I said I don't write them, I obey them. The, the, the songs, the songs <laughs> for this group, this. This band um, came through me, so to me they're they're a gift, and the gift came with a message, and that was go share the music. When all of this happened, it happened over a series of maybe uh, four nights. The initial guitar music that was the first CD. Mm -hmm. 
then then this is now done on piano. So it's a little different process, right? Right. However, I have a great producer who who like you were saying earlier turns it into art. We were talking uh, after the break. Yeah. Uh, that turns that into art, right? So it's a it, it's a little bit of a different process. I think than typically that you hear. Right. Right. But and that's totally cool. That's why we, we like to, to get into your guys' heads. As a songwriter and as an artist, um, it has taken me um, into places with the recording process and the um, uh, the overall production and the other artists that we work with into just another realm. I, I've never experienced it like that before. That's fascinating. Yeah, but, and you know that's with that that project in particular. So I mean, we're we're really looking. This is the first time we actually play full band in Apple Valley. Um, for three years, we toured up and down the Pacific Northwest. We went east of the Rockies and played, and uh, and incredibly. Uh, well received and incredibly uh, well promoted, and then all of a sudden, when you're back in your hometown, um, it's more like a respite. You know, there's tons of artists here. You know, yeah, yeah. Yes. tons. We're we're just working. Um, so for us to be here playing like this is uh, exciting. Very cool, Ray. Mm -hmm. What about yourself? Yes, I'm old school uh, when it comes to writing, and uh, what happens to me now, I don't try to force write. I just wait for those times that an idea comes. You wait until it comes and then yes. you, you express. And, Love uh, that. And so usually it's uh, a hook type of thing. And then the verses, you know, what are you trying to say? Yeah. And so my thing of it is with the blues is trying to say a complex thing in a simple way. Very cool. Yes. Your total blues. Like just you're, you're, you're just explaining that. Like. I got a blues guy here, guys. Mm. You're, you're just tuning in. I love that. That's awesome. All right, so we're going to do a segment here to wrap up the show tonight that is very popular on everything I've ever done, uh, random questions. And pretty much what it is is it's a bunch of random questions that have not been rehearsed. <laughs> and if you guys are up for the challenge, uh, well, it's going to be a ride. Go for mm -hmm. it. Are you ready? Are you ready? <laughs> I'm going to stay out of it. Do we get to ask them? Uh -huh. Do we get to ask them too? Sure. You first. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. Favorite color? Yellow. Uh, maroon. Last song you listened to on your iPod? <laughs> oh, good one. Tonic. Oh, um, uh, I want to say Break of Day. I'm not sure okay. of the title. I'm not into it. Yeah, well, last song that you, ever li that you listened to, like in the car or something? Oh, uh, can't get enough of your love, babe. Bye. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> that's why I love this. Uh, vegetable that you hate the most. Mm, that's hard. That many? No, that few. <laughs> I say lima bean. I can't think of one. Vegetable? Uh, oh, okra. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, I that's guess, I guess, one. I guess, I guess, devil food, like the thing you really should not be eating that you love to eat. Oh, that's. French bread. Oh, yeah, right? <laughs> That'll kill you every time. <laughs> oh, man. You guys are too much with this stuff, man. <laughs> what? I want to hear You got it. a food? You got a food? Oh, uh, hamburger. Oh, right? Yeah. Right? Uh, celebrity crush. Oh. Oh, my gosh. George Clooney. That's what everybody says. Just. That's a good one, though. I don't have an answer. You don't have a, uh, no, that I, many. I don't have an answer. It's all right. You can say Living Beyonce. Living or dead. Totally Living okay. or dead. Any. Hmm. Doesn't make a difference. I mean, if you're I obsessed guess. with the dead guy, it's just a little weird. Just saying. Well, no, it could be someone in the, you know, like you think, oh, wow, if I was alive then. <laughs> or if he was alive uh, now. I don't know. Where can we find you guys online? www.soulpatternproject.us. we got to wrap up the show. We'll see you next time right here on Desert Empire Vibe. Thank you so much, guys, for joining us today. Thank you. Thanks. Good night. Mm -hmm.